Hey, how you doing, everybody? So, as you can see from the description, the picture doesn't reveal anything. I just did a picture of the outside of the packages. So, you'll be get a better look. As you watch the video, you'll be able to see, but you'll know from the description what they are. So, as you can see, it's an Amazon unboxing video. Or unbagging video, if you will. Two different things. I think they're two different things. I know what they are, of course, because I ordered them. But I'm pretty sure what's in this one and what's in that one. So you will see from the description, of course, but we will get into that in a minute. We will be using the K-Bar Dozer to open them. But before we get into all that, you know what it is, my friends. Tell everybody you love the EDC videos. Give that thumbs up over there. Just raise this a little bit. And come over there, hit that subscribe, hit it again. So you get the two marks above and you will be a um, aware of all the EDC videos that come out. They will notify you and the whole nine. So, they're both cool things. They're both EDC type gadgets, if you will. But, I think we'll open this one first. Because it's the less exciting of the two. Although they're both cool. But it's the less exciting one. So we will go with this one. If me feel the package is right. That's the looks of one. If not, then we're going to open the more exciting one first. All right? So, get out the K-Bar Dozer over here. Yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. So, if you all saw my keychain video before, or my EDC video I've shown, my keychain... I have a little safety device on my keys for if you get into an accident and you can't get out the car door, you can break the window. I lost it. The last one I had wasn't that great. It was kind of flimsy and it came off. So I decided to get a different one. And I was looking around and I saw one very similar to one of the first ones I ever got. Get the K bar over there for a second. To one of the first ones I ever got. And I saw this underneath and I thought, actually. Window breaking safety belt cutter. I was like, this one's a little bit cooler, a little bit thinner. It's all black, which I'm trying to go for with all black with my EDC. So it is black. So that will help my EDC. So, as you can see, emerging hammer for vehicles. So it is a little break out the window and cut your seatbelt type tool. I can't demonstrate because I'm not going to break the windows in my car. And what is that underneath? Oh, oh shoot! It actually has a piece of glass. What the heck? I guess you're supposed to try to break the glass. That's pretty interesting, actually. There's no instructions in it. It kind of feels kind of strong. But should we break the glass? <laughs> I thought that was a key ring around there for a minute. But how do you get the little seatbelt cutter thing out? Hold on a second here. There we go. So it's a little pull thing. As you can see, it's got a little razor blade. You just right onto the seatbelt. You go across it and you cut away the seatbelt. So that's how that works. Make sure you put it on properly. And let's see what happens. Whoa! Look at that. That's the first time I ever demonstrated one of these. And it worked perfectly. Look at that. So the little needle comes out of it. And it pops it. That is cool. I was able to demonstrate it for all of you. I did not know... That was the case with it. But as you can see, it definitely broke the glass out. 100. Got a little bit of glass here. That's okay, though. I really like this. I'm really excited about it. It was on Amazon, of course, because it's an Amazon package. So if you're interested in that, because that is really cool. We were able to 100% test it. And it 100% worked, that's for sure. It worked perfectly. You hear the shattering. 
Hopefully the microphone picked that up because that was look at that. So it is definitely bus. I don't know if this exactly mimics a car windshield or whatever, but definitely cool. Definitely works. Let me put that to the side so we don't have glass everywhere. Because I want to keep the box, but that is really cool. Then they give you a way of testing it. And a lot slimmer than the other one I have. So that will be definitely nice to have. And will go good on the keychain. I will do an update on my EDC, my pocket dump soon. So y'all will be able to see. So here we go with the other thing. That was cut a little bit better with that one. Put away the dozer. So it's out of the way. And yes, indeed, we use the knife to get a knife. So... The rules change a little around here, so you're not allowed to carry certain knives, and you're not supposed to be carrying one with a pocket clip. So, I got this little boy right here, limited warrant, lifetime warranty over here. It's a Gerber. Um, pointed blade, fine edge, thumb slot opening, and frame lock safety function, lanyard hole. So, as a blade material is 7C. Uh, 17 MV stainless steel handle material is titanium coated stainless steel Got the caution and all that fun stuff um, Clip folder knife steel 2.0 liner lock and 2.1. So the blade is only 2.1 inches So that will fall under regulations And you're not supposed to have it out in the open on the clip because they can ask you is that a knife for holding? That ain't a knife. This is a knife. If you know what movie that from. <laughs> so let's take her out and see what we have here. Oh. I want to keep the little safety thing here. And everybody said it was like nice and sharp out of the box. It does have a little bit of oil on there. So look at that right there. It is small. Don't get me wrong. But if you need to carry something, and you got to fit under regulation so you don't get in trouble, you got it here. So I do have a little bit of piece of paper. Oh, and the knives I was showing you that I was going to modify a little bit, I'm going to have an update video on that as well. So there might be an extra video this week. Oh, yeah. She is sharp out of the box, as you can see. Or out of the blister pack. I see the blister pack has not reached the knife world so far. It is super, super thin, as you can see right there. All blacked out. So definitely... Nice little knife. I think I need to... Loosen up if I want to just be able to flick it out. So it is a Gerber. There you go. So two new EDC tools. And we even got to test the one, which is really super cool. So that is the Gerber right there. I like Gerbers. I've had Gerbers in the past. I mean, it's not the biggest knife, but if you know how to use something, it can be used, right? For unboxing and self-defense it's not the biggest thing in the world but guess what it will definitely do the job if you use it correctly and you can see the little markings over there it's a see-through kind of frame if i can get it to focus there got these nice little ribs up here and then this nice little it is a cut more or less for the um liner lock but i have bigger hands so it's a little bit harder but as you can see, if I put a lanyard on there, it will give me extra grip on it. And I will... It, it's good and it feels decent in the hand, for sure. If there was some jimping up here, that would be a little bit better. But it does definitely serve its purpose. It's okay for what it is. I wish we were able to carry something a little bit better. I'm probably going to paint... These 
thing, so everything is black, except for the actual blade itself. I will leave the Gerber on there, but I'm probably going to paint those out so everything's blacked out. I will leave this alone, but I'm pretty sure, as you can see. So there you have it, just so we fall in regulations. And also, this is something you could take out and people and be like, oh my god, look at that knife. It's not going to freak people out. Where this thing does freak out people every now and then. But what can I say? So there you have it, folks. A nice little EDC update. A little stuff to the EDC. A little unboxing for all y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all the support you give us. Thanks for helping building this channel. And all of y'all have a great, great day, okay? Be good.